In a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young boy named Tanvir. Tanvir was known for his adventurous spirit. He loved to explore the woods that bordered the village and climb the tallest trees to see what lay beyond. One sunny morning, as Tanvir set out on his latest adventure, his grandfather, old Tobias, handed him a shiny golden compass. It was a family heirloom, a precious keepsake that had been passed down for generations. Take this compass with you, Tanvir, old Tobias said with a wink. It will always guide you home, no matter how far you roam. Tanvir tucked the compass into his pocket and set off on his journey. He ventured deeper into the woods than ever before, his curiosity pushing him to see what lay on the other side. As he explored, Tanvir discovered a hidden waterfall, its crystal-clear waters shimmering in the sunlight. He marveled at the beauty of nature, feeling like an explorer in a faraway land. Hours passed, and Tanvir realized it was time to return home. But when he reached into his pocket to retrieve the golden compass, it was gone. Panic washed over him as he searched frantically, but the precious heirloom had disappeared. Tanvir retraced his steps, hoping to find the compass, but the woods seemed to have changed. Trees that had been familiar now looked strange, and paths that had once been clear were now overgrown with bushes. Feeling lost and alone, Tanvir didn't know which way to go. He looked up at the sky, hoping to find the North Star, but the dense canopy of leaves hid it from view. Tears welled up in his eyes as he realized he was truly lost. As the sun began to set, Tanvir felt a deep sense of despair. He curled up at the base of a tree and closed his eyes, wishing with all his might to be back home. And then, as if by magic, he felt a gentle touch on his shoulder. Startled, he opened his eyes to see old Tobias standing there, his weathered face filled with concern. "'Lost, are you, Tanvir?' old Tobias said, his voice soothing. "'Don't worry, my boy. I followed the compass, just as it led me to you.' Tanvir couldn't believe his eyes. It was as if the golden compass had guided his grandfather to him, just as it had always promised to guide him home. With old Tobias by his side, Tanvir felt safe and protected. They followed the compass's needle, which now pointed the way back to the village. The woods seemed to part before them, as if nature itself was helping them find their way. Finally, they emerged from the woods, and Tanvir saw the familiar sight of their village. It was a moment of pure relief and joy. The golden compass had kept its promise, leading Tanvir back to where he belonged. As they walked home, old Tobias explained, You see, Tanvir, a compass may be a small thing, but it can be a great source of guidance. Just like family, it can help you find your way, even when you feel lost. Tanvir nodded, realizing the true value of the golden compass and the love of his family. That day he learned that the greatest adventures are often the ones that bring you back to the people you love, and the simplest treasures, like a golden compass, can hold the most profound magic of all.